Hey, hey, well, good day, folks. Voodoo Craft, good to see you on. Russ E. Bottom, good to see you on. Smash that like as you come in and just chat it up with where you're from. Welcome to another edition of Lumberjack Logic. I'm your host, Neil Johnson. Always excited to be with you. Always excited to share the news with you. But I am really excited to share this story with you because this is something that happened to me personally that, quite frankly, I, I, I'm a little in shock over it. I really am. So um, it, it's pretty wild. It is good, Teresa, because... Um, and here, who's on? Who's on? I want to I want to see a few people who who is on here. It's just building just a touch. Josh Oliver, good to see you, Josh. So uh, JL, good to see JL on. Yo, as it were. And uh, yeah, I know you're here, Voodoo Crab. But uh, this story is so great because I was. Uh, um, oh shoot! And I'm already cutting. I got to do an unboxing video here, and I'm already cutting. I can't do that. So um, I've got the kids, right? And uh, my wife is visiting her mom. And so I've got the kids, uh, just uh, four of them here with me. And, you know, so we, we were doing fun things. We went snowshoeing, doing school with them and all that. Well, one of the things I wanted to do was give them some culture. Culture, yes. Because, you know, lumberjacks need culture too, people. So what I did was I called up uh, the Ordway in St. Paul, Minnesota. And if you don't live in Minnesota, the Ordway is uh, oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. But uh, they do plays and concerts and that kind of thing there. And uh, so they've got, uh, you know, a number of orchestra concerts coming up. And uh, with some well-renowned pianists and chamber orchestras and so on. Okay, so... Uh, I want to take my kids to this part of the part of school with daddy here while while uh, while she's gone. So I want to do this, and I I actually like the orchestra too. I mean, I joke about it being lumberjack and all this kind of stuff, right? But uh, you know, lumberjack in Northwoods kind of hunting, fishing, dude. But I actually like the orchestra. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to bring my kids down there. So I called. You know, you can order the tickets online, but I wanted to make sure that there weren't any policies. If you catch my drift, that I might not be. You know so fond of right now because some people are still wearing face coverings and i'm like uh you know I, i'm just not me and my kids we don't want to do that we just we just want to breathe freely okay so play french horn in a small orchestra cool ruth so anyhow um i'm like so i i wanted to call i didn't want to just order the tickets so i called up and i get the guy on the phone and start going through the ordering process through the tip Bumblebee. God, it's good to see some of you folks. I haven't seen some of you guys in a little while, guys and gals. But um, so I said, you know, I said, are there any man, you know, policies to, to wear face coverings and all this? And he's like, no, no, uh, you don't you don't have to. That's optional. And I said, well, good, because I said I saw people playing instruments through holes in their coverings. And I thought we're like living at the dumbest time in human history. I mean, if they work, why are we punching holes in them and so on? So I was like, uh, I, I said this and now people, you have to understand, this is the Twin Cities of Minnesota. And if you don't know Minnesota politics and you don't know Minnesota, the Twin Cities is like ultra liberal. Okay. Furthermore, I'm calling the orchestra, which is typically what? people, liberal or conservative here. Help me out. Okay. Come on. Liberal or conservative. Okay. So, um, they don't play with their masks anymore, but no, they used to, they did. They had, they had holes in the, like playing an instrument with a freaking hole in your mask. Okay. Okay. So yes, liberal Angie, that's right. Full, full of libs. I mean, completely liberal. This guy, I kid you not, I'm talking to the guy at the Ordway, and I'm thinking I'm going to be talking to a liberal. And do you know what he says? He says, yeah, he goes, because I said, I, I said, I mean, I had to ask myself, are we living at the dumbest time in human history? And he goes, well, I think the obvious answer to that is yes. He said yes. It gets better. He goes, he tells me, yeah, he believes that we are living at the dumbest time in human history and that everything's just stupid. And then he tells me the story. This is so wild. His son works high up in the education system in Illinois, and he's a conservative, and he's like just kind of a get it done kind of guy. 
and he's so proud of his his kid. And I'm like, I'm proud of your kid. Are you kidding me? Like he he actually is a conservative high up in the Illinois public education system. And get this, this guy who's high up in the public education system in Illinois homeschools his kids. People, they're my mind is being fried at this point. I, I, can't, I can't even believe it. Like, really? I mean, he's high up in the education system in Illinois. And are you, I, I'm like, oh, my mind can't even process what's taking place here because I'm talking to a person at one of the most liberal institutions in the state of Minnesota, in one of the most liberal cities, in what is proving to be a cesspool of blue in the whole country. Okay. And here he is agreeing with me about this. And then he starts telling me he's politically incorrect. I, he says, well, I can't really say anymore because I'm politically incorrect. And I said, man, buddy, you don't know who you're talking to. <laughs> I said, I might be the most politically incorrect person you know. So then, then he goes, he goes on and he's like, he says, uh, um, I, I get him talking about other things and people... It was amazing. It was amazing. It was the greatest conversation. I never thought I would have a conversation this good with somebody at the, the, uh, 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 I, I, I'm still, okay, but I got to do my unboxing video. I'm so excited about this because now, and we're going to go see the orchestra. I get to take my kids, which is really, which is really great. Okay. But look at this. Ah, ah, ah. Guess what this is, people. Does somebody want to take a guess at what I've got here in this glorious box? Okay. I hope we can meet too, Teresa. Lisa and Buddha, you figured it out. The My Pillow 2.0. So I'm going to open this bad boy up. I just cut it. Okay. Here it is. See, I just cut the box open. Oh, and I got my coffee in here too. By the way, I love this coffee. That you have to get at mystore.com. Okay, mystore.com. Especially coffee. This medium roast. I'm sorry. I love this coffee. I'm like, I, I was talking with one of my listeners the other day, actually Lisa, one of my mods, and her husband is totally convinced this is the greatest coffee known to man. Uh, so uh, anyways, so here it is, the MyPillow 2.0, and you can get these, buy one, get one, at MyPillow.com using promo code Lumberjack. Okay? So somebody says it's buffering, sorry. Anyways, but here, I'm going to open this up so you guys can see. The new My Pillow 2.0. Da 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 My daughter's looking at me weird, people. There it is, the My Pillow 2.0. Now you have to run these in the dryer, okay? When you get them, okay? So, um, but here it is. This, uh, oh, here's the fabric. And so it's a fabric, not a finish. Look at this, this is so different. It's, oh, that's just, oh, that's nice. I don't even want to put a pillowcase on it. Uh, you know, Bumblebee, I'm not sure on that question. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll touch base. Uh, but yeah, this is, so I get mine not super full. Some people really like full pillows, I don't. So, you know, you gotta kind of go with what you want. Um, so you have to fluff these in the dryer and what's different than this, my pillow, than the other, the other one you use the dryer on high heat. This one you have to use on low heat because of the fabric. So when you put these in the dryer, like you back here, they probably got instructions on them. So this is a queen. I've got a king size bed, but I do not use a king size pillow. I, I just, I don't like that big of a pillow. Some people do. Okay. Um, but, um. Yeah, this, this is, uh, I, I just don't, I don't, you know, so, you know, you just have to decide what you like and, and I, I don't like that big of a pillow. So here's the, the care instructions, wash, machine wash, cold and low tumble dry. Okay. For first time use, put in dryer for 15 minutes on low heat. So if you get a my pillow, you cannot, you don't just use it. You've got to actually put these. It's something about the foam he's using in there, and I, I don't understand all the science behind it, because I love science, people. I do. I love science. Real science. I love it. <laughs> oh, glorious people. Hey, by the way, I'm going to have a new sponsor to, uh, to deal with the uh, YouTube monetization woes. I'm still in touch with YouTube, but uh, I've, I've got some other sponsor coming on board that'll make things work, so just so you know. Um, 
there's not feed. Let me see. And uh, follow the sign. No, obviously I must have feed because somebody's here and everything. Um, but yeah, no. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. So uh, you have to activate the pillow. Uh, I don't uh, like I said. I don't. You've got to put it in the dryer for 15 minutes. This is different. You have to put this one in the dryer on low heat, not high heat. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Angie. I. I. It doesn't look like I've got any interruptions on on uh, my uh, my feed. Jeremy Saunders, you're gonna have to go back and listen. I. I got a story from the. Uh, St. Paul Chamber Orchestra and Ordway Theater. I'm not going to go back and repeat the whole story because, you know, people come back and watch this later. They don't want to hear it twice. So I, I, I know I, uh, I did, people, I tried to watch, you know, you guys all told me about the State of the Union and I did see the picture of Smoochy Smoochy there. That was pretty bizarre. I'm just going to say pretty bizarre. Um, yeah, I didn't, <laughs> all right whatever um but um the weighted blanket jerry i've never i've never uh i've never tried that the weighted blanket um yeah i i tried to watch some clips even of the state of the union and i i, I couldn't do it i watched two i saw the one where like marjorie taylor green was calling him a liar and then I saw another one with Kevin McCarthy looking in the background, you know, but it was everything that I thought it would be. You guys were right when I did that stream last night and I said, uh, I could, I could tell you what his speech was going to be. And it, you know, it, it's just, he's so angry. Like, <laughs> you know, he can't even complete a sentence and his words are, <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. I can't listen to him. It was it was unlistenable. Um, I'll probably watch Sarah's response. You guys always told me to watch that, but I'm not gonna go back and watch that speech and call out all those lies and stuff. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I mean, what? Like, I'd be, I'd have to do a five hour stream on all the lies and pointing it out and why it's why it's a lie. I'm not gonna just. I want to waste my time, with Joe. You know, there's uh, there's a lot of people. I do want to point out, uh, you know, things like that, but. I really want to do more streams like we did Monday night. So I think uh, I'm telling you, we're at a point, people. We are at a point. Need Jesus. Okay. Yeah, you didn't believe us about this. I did not believe you, Captain Murphy. Like, why would you make that kind of a, a faux pas on TV? But nonetheless, uh, yeah, it was pretty bad. It wasn't as hard as watching Obama, but it was tough getting through it. Oh, man. I don't know. It's almost tougher than watching Obama. I mean, I watched Obama, you know, and I could hear his lies and stuff, but at least he could give a speech. I mean, Joe just, I, it's just painful. It's pain. It's, it's elder abuse. I just think it's nuts. Uh, yeah, you didn't watch it either, Timothy. I can't. I just can't. I mean, I tried. I tried. For your sake, people, I tried. I thought, oh, I can make a video on this or something. I can't. I can't. I just can't do it. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I just, I'm just out on it, but you know, Hey, I'm going to put my, my pillows in the dryer and I'm drinking some, you know, glorious coffee right now, but, uh, I got my, my coffee at mystore.com, my, my pillow from mypillow.com. I love my, you know, whatever anybody else can, uh, everybody mainstream can go hate on the guy. I like the guy. I mean, he's, uh, is he always right? No, no, he's not. But uh, um, he does have the courage of his convictions, and he's got a good heart. And he does not, the thing I like about Mike is he doesn't take himself so seriously. He is willing to do whatever he can for what he believes in. And uh, I like that. Um, I, I just like it. I like that aspect about him. I think that's a great character quality. And... Uh, he does. He puts his money where his mouth is to the tune of $40 million. Okay. And I think, you know, one of the things you guys have to remember, because everybody throws stones at somebody when they're wrong. But I want you to think about this. Um, when you're out there trying, you know, it's kind of that idea that God can't steer a parked car. If you're not out there willing to do, if you don't do anything, you won't make any mistakes. Okay. That's just a truth in life. But the, you'll make the biggest mistake of all, which isn't doing anything, which isn't trying. 
You may fail. Uh, you may get it wrong. Uh, but so long as you're willing to correct course, um, that's that's where you need to be. You just got to be willing to correct course, okay? Uh, Barbara, happy birthday. Early. It's tomorrow. I saw that. I saw that. So, anyways, I'll, uh, I'll keep working on getting things uh, worked out to uh, make the show viable. And uh, so it works. Um, and then... Uh, Go from there but uh i was i was so encouraged by what happened today that uh i'm just excited I, i'm excited about that because it, it, people it's like they're hidden among us in places we didn't even think they would be okay that's what it is anyways i love y'all keep fighting a good fight i gotta go throw my my pillows in the uh dryer on low heat people remember you get the my pillow 2.0 it's low heat okay mypillow.com promo code lumberjack all right. What? I saw something from Rainmaker. I think we got three more gallons. Match the documents. Oh, Neil, today is my birthday. Well, happy birthday, Rainmaker. So, um, quit in time. It wasn't a big announcement. It was, a, it was a personal story. You'll have to go back and just catch it. I told it right at the beginning of the stream. We're having fun now and just talking, uh, talking life, philosophy, all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah. Anyways, I love y'all. Uh, I'll, I'll end the stream here, but uh, peace out.